Greetings, you techno necromancers, and welcome back to Necrosmith 2, where, as you can see up in the top left here, yeah, I did a little bit of uh, playing off camera. We just uh, run a, I think it was two missions on the first map, just to get a little bit of money so that we could start off today's episode with a bit of spending. But while I was doing that, I also picked up, I believe it is a single artifact, the Regimental Banner, plus 25 HP for every dead on the map. Now, this one is an interesting one, because if you've got enough dead on the map, then that could actually add up to quite a decent amount. Though, uh, I don't think it will really compare to the Arcane Necklace. We're going to be bringing this one along with us today. Uh, I'm also somewhat tempted. Since the last couple of runs on the second map have all ended with the Titans taking this out, uh, we're going to bring this along, since the Phoenix Weather means that nearby, uh, sorry, a dead restores 1000 HP if a nearby ally dies. Now, I'm not sure exactly how nearby nearby has to be, but assuming that I can cluster my, uh, my defenders together, or maybe even just trickle feed them out of the tower whilst a Titan is there defending, then they will die very quickly and the Titan will get a bunch of extra HP. That's certainly more than I can currently heal for, so that seems to be a wise move. Also, this one seems like a, a solid option, since it's the only way that the Titan can have any armor. You, at least so far, we can't give the Titan more body armor than this, so I think that one's the one we're going to go with. Now, as for what we're going to be spending our hard-earned on, well, there are actually quite a lot of options. We can go for some uh, weenie upgrades, and just a, a lot of them. Uh, for example, we could increase our ability to teleport, we could increase our ability to do damage with lightning from 200 to 500 damage, it's actually quite a lot. We could add a better level of acid fog, which would last for longer and do a lot more damage per tick and would have a shorter cooldown. We could unlock the field generator, enables the force field spell, which protects the tower from, near uh, from any damage for a short time. We could upgrade our magic smithy to give some, uh, well, actually a hundred, uh, sorry, a thousand HP instead of 500. Uh, that wouldn't be a terrible one. We could also upgrade our Meteor spell. Now, we haven't actually uh, seen this in action on camera, but I can say it is quite devastating. But the Meteors land quite far apart. They're, they're quite spread, and this would increase that spread. But it would also massively increase the Meteor damage. Like, wow, that is kind of bonkers. Also increase the amount of Meteors, too, which is quite a nice one. We've also got the ability to get the Aviary, which would allow us to get Harpy body parts every single night, which would actually be quite nice. Uh, we could increase the amount of bones that we get every day, thanks to the necromancer table, of course. we. Oh, actually, no, we can't upgrade the cat. Oh, man. Uh, we were almost able to upgrade the cat, which would have been quite nice. Uh, we can get the bioreactor for 1,500. Produces lizard, uh, lizard body parts every night. But the one that I have been very uh, conspicuously avoiding is obviously this. The Statue of Majesty. Increases the number of titans allowed on the map. I think this is the obvious one for us to go for, though it's still going to require us to be a little bit more tactical with our positioning of the Titans around the tower when it comes time to fight. But I think this is what we're going to grab right now. That is an awful lot of money to have just laid down. 500,000 for the next one? Oh, okay. Never mind. It increases it from two to four. That's actually quite a substantial upgrade. I quite like that. All right. Well, there's nothing else we can do, but we'll probably be able to get enough gold to upgrade something regardless of what happens in this run okay back to the key disc we go let's see what we can do <laughs> all right then uh well actually you know what you might be onto something with that i'm not gonna not gonna lie right let's get the cat out there grab some body parts for us and initially we are going to want to pretty much put everything we can into gathering materials now i do want to spread these out a little bit there's a bit of rhyme and reason to this First and foremost, the legs generally are what give you speed, though sometimes you can get that from other places. And then everything else is going to take speed away, so you kind of want to maximize for things that take the least amount of speed. Initially, the exception would be for view on someone who is gathering. But this is going to be fine. Let's let you out as well. You can go in different directions and grab different gubbins. Okay, we've got something over there. You know what? We're just immediately going to show off the meteor spell, try and break it. As you can see, very hit and miss. Exceptionally hit and miss, actually. Uh, right, I'm going to need one of you to come over here for me. Oh, of course I picked the slowest one. 
Come on, you. We need to get a... Ooh, what the hell? Earth is that? It looks like another artifact just lying there outside of our, our tower. Marvelous. Triumphant Horn. The dead deal 25 more damage to enemy layers. Oh, actually, that's not, not terrible, if I'm perfectly honest. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, nonetheless, let's uh, wander you all the way up there, and let's have a look at what we get. Ooh, we've already got some Mantis body parts. Nice. Very nice indeed. Good bit of armor on that. Uh, we've already got a Swamp Spirit arm. Very, very nice. Right, let's find out what this library has for us. We want something really, really awesome, please and thank you. And that will be... Come on. One, two, three, four. Wow, you took forever. Right, we've got lizards. All right, I wouldn't mind that, but it's going to take us a while to get up to the ore necessary for that one. Two more libraries over here. Not bad, not bad. Both of them would be able to be taken out by the regular lightning spell. That one was a little bit more of a big deal because it was an advanced library. Now, we're going to have some problems coming down from there very, very bloody soon. Right, let's get a stompy foot. Let's get a, a nice fast leg. That's a 38 and a 60. Not great, but it'll do. Uh, we could add some extra armor in already up to 18. Uh, and then I think the drift would strike. We are going to want someone to guard the base. Now, you've got some solid armor there. And I think that is ultimately what we need. Let's release the gas. Is it actually going to be able to take them? No, it's not going to be able to take them down, which is terrifying. Uh, maybe we want someone a little bit more dangerous then. We've got Swamp Stench. Sure, 25 will hopefully be good enough. Uh, that is going to be a very costly body to put together, though. Let's try and get you out and about right now. Release. Do what you can. Draw them off if you're able to. There we go. They are doing damage to you, though, which isn't great, but it is what it is. There we go. Actually, no, I think you're the only one doing damage to them. Okay, never mind. So we just need you to hold the fort here and keep drawing them in. Right, we've got a little bit of ore. Have we got enough? No, we're going to need 15 for that one. Very well. Cat is almost ready to go out and about, which we are desperately going to need in a, uh, in a moment. There we go. Right, we've got a good couple of bodies over here. Can we make anything? No. All right, then. Then let's put something together. We've got a mantis leg, which actually has a lot of armor. I would like to keep that for a defender if we can. Uh, next to that, uh, this... Yeah, sure. We'll go with a regular orc leg. Uh, next up, I want some things which will ideally allow a little bit of damage to enemies, but uh, we're not really looking for a damage dealer here. So mostly, it's the least amount of speed lost. And that looks like... Could be you? Mm, we'll go with the blaster, actually, because that gives you a bit of range. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to use that to keep the enemy at bay. Right, we're going to give you a, an, a skeletal body, lowest amount of, uh, of speed decrease. And we'll give you the skeletal head with a magic hat, as that's got some of the best uh, view range that we've got available to us right now. Uh, do we want to get rid of the chunky lizard man body? Kind of do, yes. All right, there we go. Get you out there and gathering me some resources, please and thank you. Going to need that quite badly. Now, we've got the area over here, the lightning catcher. Reduce the cost of reviving body parts with flesh by one. Probably wise. We've also got a layer down there, which is a problem, and a layer over there. Both of them have got a lot of health. Not grand. Uh, we've got some decent... Wow, we're getting a lot of swamp parts, to be fair. I'm kind of uh, impressed by that. We've got a, an earth elemental leg. We want the armor. We also want the speed, though, but we definitely want the armor. Let's get up to 19 there. That'll be a solid amount. Uh, we're also going to want a good strength arm there. That gives us up to 22. Do we want a little bit more on this? Uh, I'm thinking Driftwood Strike again. And then we're going to go for a body with armor. It brings us up to 26. And can we get a little bit more... We could if I really wanted to, or I could get some more regen. I think regen is going to be the more important one there. Now, that is, of course, a stonkingly expensive one. Oh, the swamp leg would be fantastic, but no, we can't easily get that together. All right, let's have a look at what we can sacrifice. Uh, 45 there. These are all 45, so that's not too bad, actually. Uh, and I'm going to set this one up as an attacker. Now, that might see it like an odd one, but what I want them to do is to ideally remove enemies before they get to the tower. 
That would be my goal there. Right, at this point, I want to meteor this place. Do as much damage as I can, as quickly as I can. But it's going to take a while to get through all of that, unfortunately. Right, are you able to do damage to me? I think you can. Yeah, I think that was a 35 against us. Ooh, that is not great. Let's uh, remove you from that problem, shall we? Let's not waste our components. Right, they are doing a lot of damage, but... We should be okay. How much damage mitigation do you have? You had 26. All right, so we're going to be wanting in the 30s, then, I would say, if we want to be able to completely ignore the incoming damage. We're not going to get there for a little while, though. But we have now got two Titans, and two Titans we should be making use of. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to use flashy body parts if I can to get fast legs. For this one in particular, I think that's going to be worthwhile. Then Master Flesh Arms and Master... Yeah, we're going to go with the uh, Fleshy Club Arms and then Body and Skeletal Head. Gives a good amount of speed and a good amount of direct melee damage. We're not going to be able to put this together for a little bit, though. Uh, not only because we're going to need a lot of body parts, but also an awful lot of mana that we're not going to have for a while. Mostly, I want this one to be able to direct a lot of damage frequently at uh, close-in combatants. Right, I'm going to pop some gas over there, try and take you guys out. Now, we've got a lot of components over here, I've noticed. We've got an Earth Elemental Head that has eight armor. Yes. We might, if we can get up into like the 35s, I might send you out as a layer destroyer. We've got a steel golem arm with a steam saw. Yes. That's up to 28 already. That is actually amazing. We've got a lizard man leg with a boot. We're now up to 30. I could go for a little bit more armor there, or I could go the uh, the uh, stompy swamp legs. And I think I prefer the swampy stomp legs, actually. Though this does slow you down a bit. Mm, yeah, it's one of the slowest legs that I've got. Uh, what kind of bodies do we have? We've got the leeches, brood of leeches. We might be able to put together a, a strong layer destroyer here, but 37 armor is what we really want. The, the leeches I don't think we need as much for. The blaster would be useful. It doesn't come with any armor, though. I could instead go with you. Put us up to 40 armor at that point. I think you might be able to do some pretty good damage at that stage. I'm going to hold off, though, and see if I can't get something a little bit better for us. We'll see. Right, okay. Did we get anything? Uh, not Nothing truly amazing, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, well, we'll go with this to get the 41 armor. It's going to cost a lot to put together, though. Alright, let's sell each one of these, and I just need one more at that point. Ooh, yeah, no, we, we really, really like that, uh, that, that uh, head there. Right, there we go. We are up to 151. Uh, sorry, 154. Now, I want you to destroy layers specifically. And best of luck, I guess. I could launch you from here. It probably makes sense to do that. Let's see what you're able to... You are slow as molasses, my goodness. If you're not able to tank the damage coming your way, I'm quite concerned. Quite, quite concerned. Uh, because that damage is not going to be going anywhere fast. And uh, you're just going to be having to weather the storm. Well, let's make sure you don't take too much damage. How much armor did you have? You had 15, and they do Okay, so... Yes, this should be okay. Just. Alright, that that was... That was a, a big help there, then. Right, we've got more than enough now to start investing. I would like... Hmm, Non-magic weapons getting plus 3 damage would have been great to get earlier. Sad. But there we are. All right, let's get those two. And release the cat. Go grab the resources, please, and thanks. Our defenders are actually doing okay for the time being. Let's have a look at you. Can you weather the... Yes. Okay, you are not going to get anywhere quickly. But you are possibly going to be able to do some decent damage to our enemies. And at this point, I think... Yeah, they've got the attention, so you can start wandering in again. That should work out for us. All right, what I really need is obviously the uh, the materials, but we are doing a good job over here. Let's have a look at what else we've got. We've got a steel golem head, which is even more armor than we've got down here, which is going to be fantastic. We've got some nasties coming in, but we shouldn't have to worry about them too much. I might not mind getting together a uh, 
a defender with extremely high armor, just because it'll be able to draw attention away from itself, uh, away from the tower. But let's have a look at what we can build. We can make a spirit, a uh, old swamp spirit, but honestly, I don't think we want one. They've got such little armor. Uh... Yeah, they've, they've got no natural armor. It's just all regeneration. I mean, okay, but they're not going to be able to get out of get out of harm's way at all. So I think not on that one. And instead, we're going to focus on trying to get together a nice layer destroyer that can wander out. Ideally, a little bit faster than we currently got, but I'm not holding out any hope on that one. Uh, let's pop you down there. Let's see what else we can do. We've got a decent lizard man arm here. Let's help out a bit. There we go. That should get rid of some of the incoming damage, but it's uh, a little bit worrisome. The tower is taking more damage than I would like to see. All right, let's start putting the, you together. We're going to pause it for now because there's a lot going on. Uh, getting a swamp spirit leg with this, which is... Oh, actually, that's faster than the swamp spirit leg. What? Fair. Okay. Uh, do we have any other armored components here? We've got the mantis, female mantis body. She can lay maggots, which is a nice bit of uh, distraction damage there. Uh, as for the rest of our armor, I could probably put something together for a for a fighter here. Sure, we are doing a. This is mostly to like lure enemies into dots. I feel at this point, and I'm okay with that. Sure, let's pop you together. You can be an attacker around the tower. It's going to cost a lot to put you together, though, so let's start selling components. Uh, we'll start here. My lord, these body parts, though. Uh, they are very, very expensive. I love them. Right, let's release it at the, at the tower and let you go. See what you can do. Hopefully, you can do a nice bit of damage. And you're going to try and get into fights as well. You're going to wander in the direction of fights. You're just going to ponderously go do your job. Which is fine. I approve. Uh, we've got 30 gold. Do I want to reduce... No, I don't want to reduce body parts right now. I wouldn't mind getting some extra um, damage on my weapons. But ultimately, right now, the most important thing for me is to get body part generating structures. Like, by far and away, the most important for me is to get body part generating structures. Because I'm going to need a lot to field two titans. We're already uh, quite a few minutes into this one. Uh, we're going to go for some very low speed decreasing items here. I could go for the harpy body since that doesn't reduce speed very much. Uh, but it looks like the orc or lizard man. Let's go for the lizard man body because it'll allow you to have amphibious. That'll be quite useful. Do we have any better head than skeleton head? Uh, nothing is going to give us speed here. Uh, that one, getting the Swamp Spirit head might give you a bit more survivability out there. Certainly give you a decent amount of regen. Alright, you can have that. Let's get you out there then. And you can start off from down here, I think. Go. We need those resources. We need them right now. If nothing else, we need a lot of money so that we can upgrade once we're through this one. But it definitely does feel like the, uh, the sec- Oh, wow. You can outrange this place? Uh, you're taking a lot of unnecessary damage, though. Yeah, I'm just going to stand over here. Why would I do anything else? This is amazing. Lizard Man Blaster is just cheesy, and I love it. It's the good sort of cheese. Okay, I'm bored enough now. You can go and do other things. <laughs> Actually, I might need to move you away from this place, but... Uh, I've got lightning in pocket, and I'm going to hold on to that for now. We've got a mummy head with curse, which I'm very, very much like. It's also got a good vision range, too, to be fair. Um, so that one might be super useful for us. I don't worry right now about our tower, but what I am concerned about is getting together enough units to take on the Titan. Uh, right, we've got some lizard man armor down here. That would be nice, though. Honestly, going for the mantis body might be better. Yes, it would. Uh, have we got any really fast legs? We don't. And the harpy legs are really, really slow, surprisingly. Uh, however, they do have armor, but just not much. Uh, let's have a look over here. Can I invest yet? No, I need a little bit more. Right, what kind of armor have we got here? We This is not going to be a, a armored units unfortunately we're not going to be able to put enough armor on you so 
retooling then to just go pure speed. Body wise, we could go for. Sure, we'll have the amphibian. That being said, we've already got Amphibious, so let's go with the Orc body instead, then. Uh, as for your hands, we want something that isn't going to reduce speed, but is going to be capable of doing some damage to nearby enemies. And honestly, the Blaster is doing a pretty good job. Uh, we could go with the Mummy Arm for some Vampirism as well. I don't think we need that Mummy Head anymore, though, because that is, that is a minus five speed head. Uh, it's got a really good view, though. Um, that's a bit better, I think. We don't want to invest too many very important points in this. There we are. Let's get rid of some of these lizard heads. There we go. And where are we going to release you from? Uh, we could. Or I could release you from here and you might wander in this direction. I'd actually like that if you could. Yes, go. Uh, do what you can. I think there may be a certain something something around here. A library because we haven't seen any mobs coming out of it so it is almost certainly not a layer so uh, a library would be very welcome for us to empty out that's amazing okay good view range on that explorer there is this explorer has basically got no view range which is kind of tragic really uh, you're opening that up our attacker is almost there getting there slow but sure uh, right, let's see if we can't get a couple more bits and bobs coming in here. Oh, good. Skeleton head with magic is a nice one, I feel. Very nice one. We are taking a lot of damage here. Let's go ahead and upgrade you so we can get some more components. And if nothing else, we can start adding in some titans soon, I would hope. But we have just lost one of my resource gatherers, which is a bit of a pain. But having heads that give good vision range is amazing for our resource gatherers. Okay, we've got the Draconoid Leg. Now, again, fire here. Armor, regeneration, good speed as well. Do I want to put this on a resource gatherer? I kind of do, because you can then ca cross lava. And then we'll just give you the other, the Lizard Leg. So you can now cross water and lava. You've got 99 base speed so far. I could give you two. Ooh, actually, in that case, I've got two wings to give her out as well. Do I then need these legs? No, I don't. And it would be a waste to put... Oh, no, I right-clicked instead of double-clicked. I've done that too many times. <laughs> so many times. I may as well put these legs on. Because that speed is still uh, what governs how fast we can move. Flying just allows us to cross any obstacle. But I can't believe I just burned the dragon leg. <laughs> that hurts my soul. Uh, uh, right, we want a low speed penalty body here, so that's going to be you. All right, let's get you out there then. Go, go, go. On the plus side, we do have a nice bit of, uh, nice bit of, uh, mana now available to us. Just try not to die in a stupid way. That would make me super sad. No, no, I just said try not to die in a stupid way. Why are you doing this? You're giving me anxiety. Go and do stuff. Further. Right, okay, fine. I, assuming control, you cannot be trusted with free will. My lord, okay, there we go. Now you can go grab stuff. Right, also can. Also, also. Uh, since you're already fighting over there, I'm not going to send any meteors over to help. I don't think you need it. Right, the cat is getting up there, getting some good vision over there as well. Very nice, very nice. All right, we've got 20 points that we can invest. I wouldn't mind getting more HP for every flashy body part. But that being said, reducing the cost on flashy body parts would also be nice. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'd like to save up for that. We've got five minutes before the Titans arrive and cause us all manner of trouble. We've lost another resource gatherer. Was it my flying one? No, no. This is the flying one. Okay. You did somewhat well. I will confess. I am pleased. All right. As for the tower, my defenders are not at the tower, which is not great. Uh, I'm not going to lie. All right. I think it may be time for us to just invest whatever we can in getting this together. Do we have enough bone parts? I would say we do. We're going to go from the bottom up. There we go. Now, as for the flesh parts, again, I'm surprised that mummies are considered flesh. 
but I will take it. Uh, let's not use up all of the lizard legs because I actually quite like those. I'm not using the lizard heads for anything really, and the lizard bodies I'm genuinely not using. Uh, so we've got a couple more parts we need. I like the blasters, so we're going to keep hold of the blasters. I don't care for the mummy legs or the mummy mummy torso, honestly. So we can get rid of those two. All right, we need one more. What am I going to sacrifice? Harpy body. All right. Time for you to be out and about. You do a lot of damage, you've got a lot of health. You haven't got the best ability to revive. I also need to sacrifice some odds and sods to get enough uh, mana together for you. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of those, but I will sacrifice these. There we go. Right. Go forth, Titan number one. I would like you... Will you be able to take this on, though? That is the problem. Right now, I'm actually a little bit more concerned about the tower. So, we're going to release Titan number one over here, and you're going to be set to attack enemies. So, hopefully, you'll just get involved in a fight. And you're also reasonably fast, so we will uh, hope that this keeps you going. Now, as for my layer destroyer, it's going to be a while before you get over there. I would love it if you could go and destroy this for me. Go take that out. Thank you. Alchemist Laboratory. Fantastic news. That is a really, really nice one, since it's going to give us regen on magical body parts. Right, so let's grab that, and then I'm going to grab the fe uh, feeding makes your fleshy dead more resilient, and we may as well also go for that. Okay, that actually ended up being really nice. Now then, so we're going to have regen on magical body parts. We want to make sure that almost all dead have some degree of magic with them. Uh, that would be probably uh, such a good view. Sure, we'll, we'll grab you. You also count as flesh, which is going to be awesome. Uh, let's grab... You do not count as flesh, your nature only. I could have flesh and armor. Uh, we'll see. What legs have we got? I would like something to help out with killing enemies. If I could make that happen, it would be grand. Uh, stompy legs would help with that, but you would also take a lot of damage. So I think instead we're going to go for the armored lizard legs. Next up... We've got a lot of armored components for the lizard arms, but are we going for armor here or just trying to keep... Hmm, it's a rough one because there's much, much more damaging components than the lizard components. Still, I'm not seeing much of another choice. So we're going to take blaster and I could take explosives or I could take uh, spear and I would like a close quarters damage dealer there. All right, let's get you in fighting mode. I'm going to release you at the tower so you can help out a bit down there. But we are going to need to get some more resource gatherers up and running. That spear. What? 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 Oh, it was the blaster. It was the blaster going straight down the middle. What are you doing? Where are you going? Why are you not getting involved in the fight? You dum dum. My goodness. All right. Uh, we have definitely got something over here I want to destroy. So, let, oh goodness, let's not play with you, shall we? Yeah, that hurts a lot. That's an enemy layer, which uh, shoots fireballs of all things. Hmm. How about no? Let's take you back. You can go do other things up here. Go gather resources. Don't want to lose you over something stupid. Uh, I'm also not. Oh, did we just lose our primary destroyer of layers? No, we've still got him. Okay, we did lose. Uh, Something I would have liked to have kept, but oh well. This is some sort of demon layer, it seems, then. Uh, there's a lot of health on that, though. I think I would kind of prefer to bring... Yeah, you are you are taking damage from these demons. Way too much. I don't think I can keep you alive. No, too late. Damn it. Okay, so the demons are huge amounts of damage. You've definitely not got any body parts that can handle that. Taking out the layers is going to be absolutely a huge imperative for us. Uh, let's try and take this out with the meteor. Also drop lightning on it if we can. But I'm quite concerned about the uh, incoming enemies here. Let's get some healing on you. There we go. That will help a little bit, but not a huge amount. We've lost all of our resource gatherers. Well, poop. Right, it's night time. The enemies are no longer super buffed. Uh, let's get some armor regen. Let's get two blasters. I want someone quick here, if I can. Uh, so we'll give you magic. Got flesh and magic there. Could give you a harpy head with helmet. You've got a decent view. It does pull down speed a bit, but hopefully you can just avoid enemies. 
And we'll release you by the tower because there's a lot of resources around here now. Uh, we did get ma manage to get 30 behind us though, so let's see if there's anything worthwhile going for. Probably not. Um, I could add a little bit more regen, but I think instead we're going to get the uh, reducing the cost of flesh body parts. Should have gone that first before I made something. But oh well. too late to worry about it now. Quite a lot of blasters going on. The Titan is doing a good job, but ultimately I need this to go out and, and pretty much just wipe out layers. Uh, I can always use my teleporter on the Titan. So Titan, go to the layers. That should send you in the direction of enemies. And then I'll bring you back shortly. Now, second Titan. Am I going to do anything differently? Probably not. Uh, well, actually, maybe. Um, we'll go with Pustules and the club. Still going to go for fleshy limbs. Honestly, we've got more flesh than we've got skeletal parts at this point. So uh, it seems like the sensible thing to do. Let's get through all of that. There we go. Now just flesh body parts, please, and thank you. Am I going to be able to put this together right now? Probably not, sadly. Uh, we're definitely not going to have the mana for it, but I can at least get most of the way to finishing it. In fact, we can finish it. That's kind of surprising, honestly. Uh, right, well, I can get rid of these. I can get rid of a load of these body parts. We might even be able to... Yeah, we can put it together right now. Okay. Let's get Titan number two in play. Release. I will also want you to back up your sibling. Go destroy layers together. Mm. And when the time comes, I'm going to have to pull you both back to defend the tower. Right, now we desperately need someone to go out and gather resources. What I wouldn't give for a... A... Uh, fairy body right now so you could fly. Uh, as for the arms, actually, can I put? Oh, I can, uh, well, I can make you, but you're not exactly what I need. Uh, maybe as a fighter, though, we can see what you can do. Sure, let's make it. You don't get any bonus, though, which is the problem. You just do a lot of damage. You do a, a frankly obscene amount of damage, in fact. Uh, let's burn off some of the body parts we don't care about. Keeping that mantis body because that is that is going to be very useful for us later. Uh, we're going to get rid of that head, get rid of you, there we go, revive. you got a lot of health, to be fair. So you might be able to help out. You do a lot of damage around yourself, too, which is possibly going to be huge. But uh, still, not crazy excited about that. Uh, did we lose one of the Titans? No, we did not. Good, 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 good. I might want to bring the Titans back, then. Let's uh, have both of you return. Guard the tower because by the time that that is over, we are going to have the enemy titans showing up. All right, sanded bones is going to be a nice one for us. All right, there are so so many resources just out here. We are definitely going to be able to afford to upgrade something going into the next fight, though they are sending lots of enemies our way. The main thing that's keeping us alive right now is the fact that we've got a lot of pushback. A lot of knockback going on helping us out there. Uh, we will target you. Try and remove this. We just want to get rid of the chaff, because we've got a lot of chaff nearby. The demon nests are super dangerous, though. They are a genuine concern. Uh, let's put together a quick resource gatherer. I might just need to bite the bullet and make a heavily armored resource gatherer, which kind of pains me, but realistically at this point, what else can I do? We're taking way too much damage. I need someone who can ignore most of that. 31 isn't going to give us that, certainly against demons, but it may be enough to keep the worst things off our back. Let's uh, learn from my previous mistakes and go ahead and invest first. Have we got any bones? No, so that one isn't necessary. Non-magic weapons? Yes, both of them. So this would help to upgrade it a bit further. Uh, magical? We've got no magic, so yeah, this is the only thing that's worth it for us, the armory. Right, revive and go forth and grab all of the gubbins, please, and thank you. 
Right, the two Titans should be able to comfortably defend here, but we will see, I guess. I've neither got I've got neither spell off cooldown, which does mean that the next Titan fight is gonna be a bit of a nasty one. Oh wow, you did not last long. Oh that hurts. That hurts my soul. Alright. Badness and sadness incoming. Uh, realistically, at this point, I need the Titans to march towards the enemies, not linger around the tower, because if that gets within range of the tower, the tower dies. That's pretty much that symbol. So I need you all to go there right now. Go, 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 go. Let's see what we can do. If I need to, I've got a couple of things I can pop. Titans need some healing right now. No, nope, Titans are gone. Okay, we are still very, very far from a place where we can take this place out. We definitely need to get some bigger upgrades. There's no point in me trying to just dump units in there because this attack will just take them out. So, okay, despite having gr uh, grinded for like 5k, that didn't make that much of a difference. That being said, Titans might not have been the play there. Uh, we could get the bioreactor, so we've got lizard parts, and honestly, having more advanced parts is a big, big help. So sure, let's go ahead and get the bioreactor. Next upgrade is only 7,500. That's actually not terrible. Uh, maybe getting the field generator would help, but I don't think it would. I think, honestly, the next, the next big investment is probably going to be the harpy parts. And then following that, I mean, ooh, Steel Golem and Cursed Armor. That's lovely, but it's 45k. That's a long ways away, I think. And the Mechanoid and Cybersaurus components, that's 150k. These things are not things we're going to get. Not yet, anyway. Uh, what do we get? We got the uh, Triumphal Horn. The Dead deal 25 more damage to enemy layers. Could have had the... Well, actually, you know, even the Phoenix Feather didn't really help us out. Um, at that point, like, releasing the, the dead so they would cluster. My hope was the, the dead that had the attack order would have been in the fight, getting taken out so the, uh, the Titans kept up. And I think that probably did help a little bit, but uh, ultimately didn't help enough. I think... No, we're not going to... Well, that being said, a Titan that destroys a layer, restoring to full HP... Ooh, that could be huge, actually. Sure, okay, we'll pop that in there. And with that, looking at the time, mm, I think we can uh, squeeze in one more round, but only on the second map, because I'm fairly certain that we would last for a long time on the first map at this point, especially with two Titans. That being said, maybe... Oh, okay, you twisted my arm. We'll go back and we'll do another portal disc. <sighs> My goodness. It's nice to revisit old levels and feel powerful every now and then. Though that being said, <laughs> since our early wins, the enemy titans have been consistently destroying my tower. So uh, maybe I need to go back to basics, honestly, on this. But let's uh, start off with a faster skeleton set out to gather resources. Go, go, go. And we'll release the kitten as well. And I will bring you back when there's something interesting to report. Like a necromancy enhancer. Yes, that's quite nice. Okay, we don't want you around anymore. And thankfully, these layers have almost no health. So a uh, meteor storm, even at the first level, is quite damaging. Uh, we seem to have some nice temples over here. which might give us some uh, gubbins. But as you can see, I'm starting to fill out the ranks with resource gatherers. And that's pretty much going to be the order of business early on. I just want them to get out there and bring me more body parts back as quickly and as frequently as they possibly can. Also mana. I also want them to bring me mana back. Wow, that dumped a lot of parts on us. That was actually quite amazing. Okay, having those uh, the uh, lizard body parts being added into the, into the heap was actually very, very nice. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, when it comes to legs... I don't know if I mentioned it. You don't want the weakest legs. You want the strongest legs at all times because those are the fastest legs. Uh, it's everything else that you... If you're just building a, an early game resource gatherer, you just want those uh, basic components. The only thing I would say is for heads, you want view. View is actually more important than probably anything else. Uh, so if the weakest head has got poor view, don't take it. Grab, Wait for something else. Also, cat. Okay, getting early game lizard parts is actually kind of broken. This is amazing. We've already got a bat 
blaster as we have uncovered now a couple of layers i do need to send someone out to deal with them so we're going to revive you and release you you should head straight south if we're lucky and uh, deal with that we're bringing in loads of ore as well I'm going to go for sanded body parts so that our dead speed up unfortunately this is absolutely 100 percent categorically not retroactive so uh, you, if the the dead that are already out there they just don't get the upgrade much to my great great dismay uh, as for you though let's drop some meteors on that there we go that's the next layer taken out Perfect, and they look like they are committed to removing this library, which is actually pretty good for me. Uh, you should be able to take out that. I've been using lightning here and there, wherever necessary. Now, we're going to grab some regen from my uh, magical components. I think that is a pretty solid one. The zombie legs are, despite what you might imagine, actually one of the better legs that we've got early game. Uh, as for... Yeah, we're still very much in the gather all of the things mode, so... I'm not worrying too much about defending the base. The best defense for the base right now is to make sure that things die before there's uh, any chance for them to get to me. All right, so let's release you. Go, go, go. We've got loads of resources around there. If you need a bit of help getting to where you're going, I will help you out. There you go. There's a check. What? what? What do you mean? Why were you going up if you... Oh, my lord, I was teleporting you so you could get to where you were going faster. You made me waste my teleport, you scallywag. There we go. We've got the skeleton head with the magic hat. A very nice one. Uh, we've also got a couple of options over here. And honestly, with the armor buffs that they get, it is really worth going for them if that's what you're aiming for. Um, for example, over here, I really feel the Orc Punisher Skeleton would be a great, uh, great attacker, but we're still very much in the gather all of the things stage, so uh, mostly I'm focusing on releasing plenty of resource gatherers, whilst also looking around for the hints of this, any layers that might pop up, and then I'll just drop my spells on it, if we're lucky, I might be able to take it out, uh, not quite there, but uh, you actually might finish it off. If you are super lucky and I can keep you alive, let's do our best to make that happen. Uh, no, you are not going to do enough damage fast enough, sadly, and you will just get wiped out if you linger here too long. But you are going to take it out, it looks like. Uh, there is a good chance that that might happen, which I am all for. Okay, well, that's fine then. Uh, as for the base, we've got 34 ore burning a hole in our pocket. Uh, I would like... Anything that gives us more body parts. Again, that seems to be the order of business early on. Mainly so that we can fund building our titans. Uh, using the cost of flesh parts is also quite nice as well. Though I don't... Uh, I suspect that that does involve reducing the... Uh, the... Um, burn value of those flash parts as well we've got some nice components over here though starting to filter in all right we've got the best thing we can possibly have and that is the fairy body for resource gatherers that is of course uh we've got 60 speed legs i don't see much reason to drop that speed so much just for armor um okay we'll pop you over there uh as for your arms in terms of pure speed yes the skeleton arms with magic wand are the better ones but the fairy arm with dart does a good bit of damage at range and only reduces speed by four which is really really very very uh tolerable uh as for the head we haven't got anything with like 30 views so we'll just go with the zombie head with magic hat and you are going to be released once again from here, but you can pretty much go everywhere you want to go, which is going to be amazing for us. We've got enemies heading down, though, which is a bit of a problem, and it may be time for us to consider putting together a Titan. And again, I really don't see any reason to do anything. The legs are great for the, the regen, and they also give the most speed. Uh, as for deducting the most speed, it would be the, the uh, Titan... Uh, uh, skeletal arms do we have more skeletal components than anything else yeah by a massive amount so i'm gonna say just go for raw impact damage with these the the arms it takes so long to wind these up and throw them that being said i mean you could take out some enemies before they get close and you don't have a lot of regen though i'm noticing that it, it isn't listing any armor oh i assumed 
that the artifact we had was the only way that we were going to get armor on a titan, but it might not even be possible to get armor on a titan, which is a little bit sad. All right, uh, we need some more mana. Let's... Uh, we don't need a fairy with torn off wings. I'm sorry, but it's just the facts. Uh, let's get rid of the fairy legs. I don't really care for. We really don't make use of them. Ooh, wow. Okay, zombie arm with... Oh, okay. Zombie arm with armor. I haven't put together a zombie with armor before, but alright. Alright, let's get you into play. And you, I want to go and destroy layers if I can have you do it. So, release. Uh, for now, I would... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to control you. I just want you to go and destroy the uh, the layers if you can. You haven't got a super amount of uh, protection there, but you should be more than enough to deal with the enemies coming your way. Right, as for the enemies coming towards the tower, we are going to need to put together someone who can defend. Uh, at this point, we don't actually need speed for a tower defender. You won't armor primarily for a tower defender and also a good bit of uh, outgoing damage potential the mantis body comes with seven armor it's hard to say no to that uh, we've also got the zombie head with helmet which has got armor one but it's only armor one which is kind of surprising i think here the orc skeleton head with helmet would be a better one and you can purely be here to protect the the tower here uh, we need a little bit more let's i'm not going to get rid of that there we go, that will do, and release at the tower, please and thank you. There you go. Now, let's have a look at any other components we can make. No, we can't make any other full bodies right now, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, well, it is what it is, right? Pop the gas, let's try and take those out before they're too much of a problem. We are losing some of our resource gatherers now, which is a bit of a, uh, an issue, but it's not going to be the worst. Also, body parts being left behind is kind of a nice one. We've got 35 ore to use. Let's go ahead and grab that, and then sure, we'll also grab melee weapons increase by three. That shouldn't be too terribly bad. We've got about six minutes before the next Titan arrives. We should be able to manage it. Let's try and keep you alive, though, shall we? There we go. Once the, the Mantis get into position on this layer, they will just rip it apart and you should survive the ordeal consequently there we go not too bad at all have we managed to remove the enemies from over here we have okay good good have we got any uh just wandering uh resource gatherers Let's send them back to base so they can pick all of this up for us there we are now we can see enemies coming down from up here so there must be a layer somewhere up in that direction it's just we don't know exactly where oh we've got one right there okay never mind uh, let's drop oh, Tower's durability repair Something we very much want I will try and get uh, a fireball on that shortly uh, Let's see How much do we want for that? 15 Always, always worth it Can't see that ever not being what you want to go for As early as you can see it Increase the damage of all magic weapons by 3 That wouldn't be too bad as well How's our Titan doing? Our Titan is doing a good job Well done you Sculptor's Workshop I don't find that one as useful I must confess uh, I would like you to go down in this direction and Just wipe that out for me Wouldn't mind grabbing that library's contents While you're over here anyway uh, Am I going to have to worry about the power? I may do No, it looks like you've got this sorted There you go yeah, we're good over here. Not a lot of uh, resources, though, sadly. We have got another fairy body, however, so let's go ahead and try and put together a body that is uh, suitable for resource gathering, I think. Probably going to need some more defenders. Maybe some active uh, attackers down here might be a useful one. Let's pop you out there. As for the body... Well, we've already got the body, actually, sorry. Uh, fairy head. View 35, very low speed deduction. Huge, amazing. Let's get you out there. We can, in fact, do another one straight away. Uh, you know, that, that Mantis arm, is, is, that's got other other places to be. Uh, let's grab... The fairy legs are just not that fast, which is kind of amusing. All right, let's get you going out from here as well. That will help a huge amount. Two fairies going and gathering. Okay, we lost another one of our gatherers. There we go. The Armourer's Workshop. One that I love probably the most. Right. 
We'll save up for the 40 together. Well, actually, that's a lie. We're also going to get Bloodsuck Bones because I'm putting enough uh, skeleton boings together that that will, uh, that will pay for itself pretty quickly. I could pull you back, but I don't think I need to. Well, actually, no, I do need to. Let's bring you back because then you'll go in a different direction this time because there's got bound to be another layer fairly close. Yeah, there we are. So I don't want all my units heading for the same objective, though the fact that you can just cross the swamp is huge. Okay, putting together another, another defender here, but they're going to be set up to just to attack rather than defend specifically, but they will probably never really leave this area or, or stray too far from it. So they're going to be spawned over here, and their objective is just to kill enemies. They've got a lot of armor, so they should be able to just walk through most of them until much, much later on. I right, want some more meteors over here. You really? You're sending out siege towers? Wow, things are hotting up, it seems. Right, let's just pop that now so we don't have to deal with any more of them. Right, you are going to easily be able to deal with them. That shouldn't be a concern for me. We've got one more fairy body, and I would like to get another person out there gathering up goodies. Uh, we're going to go with the zombie head because it's got the larger view. We are going to want... We've got a lizard leg. It hurts to use something that has a specialized ability for someone that doesn't need it. The fairy does not need the ability to go through lakes. They can fly. But, oh well. Uh, let's release you from the tower. You should be able to uh, get out there and take care of things fairly easily. Okay, we've got a bit more of an upgrade down here but we're still saving up for the armors workshop that being said ooh, i probably would have gone for that if i'd realized i'd had enough earlier i would have gone for the uh, cyclops body parts they are very very nice we've got a little place over here as well we need to get to uh i could possibly pull you back and you might be able to get over there a lot faster as a consequence but given the time i'm sort of feeling that i might want you on guard duty for now go back and guard the tower until the titan arrives and then i'm going to set you up to attack enemies and hopefully you can uh, help out with that in fact i might want to get a couple people together to uh, help with that for now though let's go ahead and get another titan put together pretty much the same job this one though is going to be a bit more punchy uh to units specifically Right, going to need a lot of uh, flesh body parts, but we should be able to... Oh, why am I burning them? <laughs> oh, well, we are actually going to need it. I could probably have gotten away with pretending... Yeah, no, no, that was absolutely what I meant to do the whole time. <laughs> but I was doing it, obviously, to bone body parts, so, you know, someone would have called me out on it eventually. Uh, and besides, I, I don't believe in, in concealing my, my derps. Uh, I know, obviously... Sometimes it's nicer to watch someone win than to lose. But I think that creates this false narrative that everyone is better than you at games. And then watching these videos just makes you feel bad about yourself. And I don't want that. Alright, I want you to defend until the uh, enemy titans arrive. And then we will send you out. Honestly, maybe having the two titans is the right play. And specifically, it's the right play for grinding on earlier levels. Maybe. And uh, once you've got four Titans, you can have two of them out there destroying layers and two back at home. Uh, let's heal you up so that you uh, are safe. Uh, that might actually be one way of playing through the game on the earlier levels. I don't know if it's the intended way to play, but uh, it certainly is a bad way in my opinion. All right, we're going to get rid of those two Cyclops heads. I'm never going to use them. Uh, the legs, they are actually fast, so we might well make use of those. Uh, so the lightning spell is up, so we're just going to go ahead and use that one straight away. Now, I would like a attacker down here. Ruby Ray would be good. Also going for Blaster would be the... Well, actually, no, the Blaster isn't actually that good. The Spear is the better one. Uh, if you're going to go with one or t'other, go for the Spear. And same here, yeah, go for Double Spear if we're just going for a straight-up attacker. Uh, as for the body, I think we're going to go with the Mantis body, because that's got a good bit of armor baked in. The Spitter Head as well. Good bit of armor as well as a good bit of damage. A lot of damage, actually. All right, we're going to release you at the tower. There we go. And also, we've got... it's. Uh, it has just gone nighttime, I think. Damn it all. Uh, right, well, first and foremost, let's go ahead to the armory. Uh, no, no, the wrong one. Armory, not Armour's Workshop. <laughs> I've learnt from my mistakes. 
very slowly, but I do. Uh, there we go. That'll that'll do for now. We'll uh, save up to get the lizard bits in a little while. There we go. Through the swamp. You can probably take that out without too much trouble, actually. Got this down here, and I don't want you getting too close to it. So let's just uh, drop these down there as well. That will help someone out at some later stage. Uh, why are you dancing between these things? My lord. Alright, we've got most of our explorers over on this side of the map. I wonder if there are any more layers over there. Right, okay, here we go. Let's get in there. Go for the kills. Both. There we are. Right, we've got a layer over here about to be popped. Perfect. We're not seeing much in the way of enemies spawning. We've got these ones down there, of course, but that one is going to be gone fairly quickly. Our titans are not doing amazing. I mean, they are they are winning comfortably, but uh, considering there were two of them, and next time there's going to be two enemy titans, yeah, that, that doesn't bode too well, honestly. Uh, getting the rotting remains. Now, that one is an equally expensive one to the... Uh, to the Sculptor's Workshop, but I think that one is the better one of the two. Right, as for you, I want you to go destroying layers, and I want you to go destroying layers, but I'm going to split you up. Uh, let's try... Move... Well... Let's take you up in this direction. There's going to be a layer over here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to be piloting my meat mech. I'll bring you back when there's something to, something to report. Okay, a new layer has popped up. I don't know if we... They, uh, the, our units will only go for activated layers, and they, they're slowly activated in like concentric circles out from the, the tower. But the moment this activated, it popped up on the map, and up until that point, both of my layer-destroying titans were just chilling, just gathering resources, honestly. They had nowhere to be, and, and uh, they were in no hurry to get somewhere to be. But uh, it does seem that just if you manage to keep on top of the fighting, no, you're good. Your units will just have a uh, free reign of the entire field. And it looks like we have removed all potential layers on this side of the map. So uh, it is now just hoovering up whatever resources remain. Uh, on that note, we've got enough to invest in... There we go. We've now got the uh, rotting remains. We are getting more Cyclops parts all the time, which is fantastic. And also, more importantly, more fairy parts. Pretty much all almost all of our well from this point on all of our uh, gatherers are flying so these ones are kind of letting the team down i'm gonna be honest uh, maybe i'm gonna set you up then to just go fight enemies go ahead you'll eventually find a, fo a foe that you can't defeat and uh, that will clear things up a little bit but uh, over here we're actually doing so like things are occasionally getting through but very rarely because there's very few uh, places on the map for them to be uh, it looks like the titans are now activating them and yes having the ability to fully heal for a titan is wild because that's a lot of hp that they have lost and it's all better uh, so at this stage, I think other than the enemy titans, there's not actually much that we're going to need to worry about. But I am going to have to start thinking about that soon. I don't think they have enough speed to get back in time. So it's going to come down to me taking about the five minute mark. Or somewhere on that, maybe the three minute mark. Teleporting one and having it uh, guard. And then teleporting the other not long afterwards. Uh, we've now got a Cyclops with Slave Mask. Eh, I mean, that Ruby Ray is great, but the Acid Spit is better and doesn't have a massive vision. Well, I mean, it's not an awful difference between the vision, but uh, has more armor as well, which I quite like. As for the bodies, yeah, we're going to go with the uh, Mantis body there. As for arms, do we have any Mantis or we don't? Oh, it makes me sad. Oh, well. Uh, we can definitely put you together here. That's 26 armor already. What about your arms? I could give you the dart, frankly. It's a comparable amount of damage. Or I could give you better armor. I'm kind of feeling the better armor, if I'm honest. I don't, obviously, better armor down there is five. Well, actually, there are five over here as well. I could just give you explosives. Sure. You're very explody. Uh, it would be better, though, if I went with this. And... Uh, no, I think I think this is a better better build for a, a guardian, and we are going to set you up as one, so that I can release the entire horde all at once to defend the castle from the uh, 
from the Titan enemy Titans. Because realistically, at this point, that is the only thing that I'm worried about. Okay, we are down to below five minutes. So it is time for this Titan to head home and to start guarding. There we go, just so I can keep you there. And by the time the Titans arrive, the other, uh, sorry, the uh, enemy Titans arrive, I can probably just teleport you across at that point. I don't think you're going to have any trouble clearing out this area. Uh, my Titans, at this stage, are the be-all, end-all of my army. They have the best vision range, the best damage, and also they heal the most when they destroy a layer. Not because they uh, literally heal the most. Well, I mean, technically, because they do. They have more to heal, and they'll heal to full health, so... Uh, everyone else is now just set on defend, and uh, except for my actual dedicated uh, scavengers. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm going to use my uh, laser spell, frankly. Uh, sorry, my laser, my lightning spell. Uh, they both started with the L, okay? Uh, the tight... Can you squeeze... Really? You can squeeze past that tiny little gap? Oh, fair enough. No, I don't know what's going to happen when we've cleared out the last area on this map. Uh, are you going to be able to handle this? I very much doubt you can. So how about we not waste a fairy? Uh, you are too slow to dodge. There we go. No, no, no. Bad, naughty. Oh, they, they've got a very wide hitbox, apparently. Right, final layer about to be emptied out. Right, you know what? I'm just going to pop you guys. Uh, apparently I'm not. Apparently... That was hubris talking. Okay, well, at this stage, we may as well just bring them back and see how the fight goes. Uh, we we built up to it, so sure, we'll do that. In, in fact, we've got enough body parts at this stage that I could probably just keep summoning them for a while. Maybe we'll do that, see how far we can take it. I'll also grab this, mate. might as well. We'll get all of the uh, library stuff that we've actually unlocked. Uh, anything else we can grab for a little bit? Uh, let me close that down and open it back up just so it sorts. Uh, right, we could get the alk. Uh, I'm not sure about the alchemist, honestly. Uh, bone body parts plus a uh, bit of HP, though. That would be quite nice. Any components that we could just throw together. We could throw together quite a few minions at this point. Uh, and though, again, because of the base armor bonus that I've given them, they have a very, very big armor effect it, it's never going to be enough for a titan because a titan's weapon like does damage in the thousands that's never going to or at least several hundred that's never going to be something we can uh resist in terms of armor for now uh at our current set uh, set maybe the cybersaurus and stuff like that will be able to but uh, certainly not our basic bone boys but uh Still, they are really, really useful in the early stages of the game, just sending them out if they've got natural armor buffs or, or vampirism regeneration, that sort of thing. We've got quite a few things that we can make now. The only things we can't is the old swamp spirit and uh, just an orc goon, because I kind of need more choppers, apparently. Uh, but other than that, not doing too bad. So I'm going to have a look through the components and see if I can put together any other bodies that I've not seen yet. Okay, I did not get very far with uh, making new body parts because I ran out of room and I didn't want to sacrifice any of the ones that I had. Uh, nevertheless, let's get things going. We need to set everyone to basic attack now and then we'll start uh, thinning out the herd as they die, replacing them with better versions because we've got quite a few here that aren't the best. Uh, quite a lot of them are armor focused whereas at this point you need to be damage focused for the for the titans uh there we go let's get out there they should all where are you going Milado? no 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 come back down here my meat mechs are disobeying me right let's see what kind of damage we can lay down hopefully quite a lot oh my lord the amount of damage being laid down on us is a, quite a lot as well let's get some healing going we've already lost one we've got one of the enemies that oh, one of the titans is gone okay fair enough let's uh, quickly put together another one then uh actually at this point we may as well just go all in on the flesh there is no reason not to and we're going to start down from the bottom because it seems to order itself in terms of the more valuable to the least valuable. I am certain I could have put together a couple... Why am I doing it? Again, I just, my brain turned off at some point. Right, let's just... <laughs> I was like, hang on a second, how am I, how am I putting fairy bodies in there? They're in nature. Oh, right, yeah, the whole blue mana symbol. Oh. 
100% intentional, perfectly mathed out. I am a genius. Let's get you in the fight. Uh, one of those days. Right, let's see what we can do. We have lost our second one. Let's uh, get another Titan together. Now we're just trickle feeding them into the Moors of Doom, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to just have to hope that we can sustain this for a while. And I think we can, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop everything in there. The sad thing about this is we probably did have enough body parts here to find several different uh, components, uh, several different uh, actual uh, units. But we can always do that another time. It's not going to be the, the worst in the world. This one in particular is nasty because its attack just deals huge amounts of damage in an area. And th there's really very little you can do unless you're staying at range. But I think that's it. Pretty much everywhere on this map has now been explored. We have completely gone around the border. Let me just double check, but I'm fairly certain we have. There we go. Yep, we are done. All right, well, that's going to be it for today then. We've got 2,492 uh, dollar redos for us to invest in something. Uh, I'm not going to wait around to see if there's any last little tiny bit. There's like a few tiny little chests. No. Uh, we're not going to wait on those. It's, it looks like everything that is gathering uh, materials is heading for these... Oh, you know what? Okay, fine. I will gather everything. <sighs> I do this to myself, honestly. You, you've just given up. You're like, no, there's nothing else worth me, worth me gathering. Everyone else is like, look, okay, there's no more enemies. I'm going to go and help gather. I admire your work ethic. I truly do. But this, there's just no point. Really? Now you've stopped? You're, you're right there. Go and grab it. My goodness. Come on. Uh, right, there we go. The last little... The cat can't even get over here anymore. He tries. Bless him. Right, let's grab that. I'll grab the manor as well because I can. And then pretty much I imagine everyone else is just going to stop moving. Or will think about stopping moving anyway. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade some bits and bobs. We've got so much stuff. I want to pick something and upgrade it as far as I can. Uh, let's go for the crypt. wonder if there's going to be anything for doing that. No. There's no, no achievement. I was really hopeful. <laughs> oh, well, that is going to be it. Let's uh, go ahead and head back. Can I, can I give up? I guess. Feels wrong to say give up, but sure, let's give up. Are you sure you want to give Not really, but look, what else? I'm not going to wait for 12 minutes to have a fight that I'm probably going to lose. <sighs> I did everything I could, damn it. Right, okay, so here we are again. Not quite enough money from a single run to unlock any of the really, really nice things, but we've got a, one or two things that we could do. Uh... Certainly upgrading the Tesla machine to 500 damage would allow us to take out even the uh, specialized, um, uh, the specialist libraries. But if we could just get another, uh, we could go for harpy pieces, which would be very, very nice indeed. There were no other relics, unfortunately. I think we, at this point, do need to just progress the uh, the story and, go, and find the rest of that on the other discs. The other thing I guess we could go for is the Acid Fog Generator, but no. I think what I'm going to do is probably play a little bit more on the first map, gather more and more cash, and when we jump into this again, we will be able to unlock some more fancy... Th Look, we're just going to get the Avery. We're definitely not going to be unlocking this. Maybe... If I have the time, we'll unlock both the Avery and the upgraded Meteor. But we're definitely not going to upgrade one of these. I'm not going to grind that much off camera. But that is going to be it for me for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, from myself, the Necrosmith, and of course, the Book Cat. Do take care, everyone. <laughs>